Hi, I'm Myra Kornfeld. I'm a cookbook author and cooking instructor, and I have lots of tips and recipes to make your cooking life a whole lot easier. Today, I'm going to make fermented salsa. This is such a great way to use up a lot of extra tomatoes or summer produce. This, it will keep for months in the refrigerator. It's tangy, it's delicious, it's a probiotic, and it's a way to make these delicious tomatoes last quite a while. I'm going to make two different salsas today, so I'm mixing up a big bowl of all the ingredients and I'll divide them up and show two easy ways to ferment. So I'm starting with tomatoes. Really each recipe is a pound and a half cut up tomatoes. You can use cherry or any sliced. I'm using a mix of green market yellow and mixed color cherries. And I'm also going to stir in now some very finely chopped red onion, cilantro, thinly sliced scallions, garlic, and some minced jalapeno, and of course some lime juice. Now we need salt to start the fermentation going, but I'm first, this is my, my mix that both of the salsas are going to have, and I'm going to, once I mix this in, I'm going to divide this up into two bowls. So now in order to get the fermentation going, now these are short ferments first of all, it's only going to be two days and it's ready to transfer to the refrigerator. We can either do two teaspoons salt, this first one has two teaspoons of salt mixed in. This second one, we're putting in one teaspoon of salt plus a quarter cup of whey. Let's take a moment and look at whey. Whey is a liquid left over after you strain out yogurt. So here I have a strainer that I've lined with cheesecloth, put in some yogurt, and in just a very short time you have a lot of liquid. You can take that liquid, put it in a jar, and it's going to last six months in your refrigerator. And it, is, it really helps start a ferment. It's also very useful for soaking grains to make them more digestible. So I keep some and I, I use it quite frequently. So for this ferment, the whey will even get the lactobacilli started faster. But either way, they're both good options. My next step is to pack these into one quart jars. Just want to make sure there's liquid covering the top, so you got to stuff them in. Look at all this liquid. So I push them down, and then I add the rest. Make sure that you've got an inch of space at the top and that you have liquid covering the top of the tomatoes, uh, or covering the top of everything really. Now we're going to put the lid on tight and keep this at room temperature just two days. You're going to notice there'll be a little fizzing happening, then you remove it to the refrigerator, it's ready to go. That one's ready to cap as well. If you don't have enough liquid, you can add a little bit of water, just make sure it's an inch below. These are such fun salsas, two days, they're ready to go. You can, these are great to add to any meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or to eat as a snack. 